We have just completed Zipflyer Inc.'s bank reconciliation. Time to do journal entries. Now you might say, well, wait, what are the journal entries? Why do I need to do journal entries? The answer is uh, all about this uh, right-hand side, all about this column below there. Um, we've said, hey, here is what we thought our cash would be. This is what our cash T account says. And here's all the reasons our cash T account is wrong. And this is what our cash T account should say. Well, if these things all represent reasons why our cash T account is wrong, let's fix them. If these things are all things that we missed, let's not miss those things. Let's catch them. How do I catch them? Well, a account does account do just about anything with journal entries. So we've got to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven journal entries to fix all of this. Now I have some good news and the good news is these are the, I, in my opinion, the easiest journal entries of the semester. Um, I, I hate doing this because I got a student evaluation one time. It was, uh, I'm sorry to tell you this quick story. Fast forward a minute if, if you're in a rush. Uh, I got a student evaluation one semester. I've, I've just called these journal entries easy. And I got a student evaluation saying, you know, Tony, when he says stuff is easy, it's not easy for me. And he makes me feel really stupid. And I agree with that person. I was like, oh, geez, this is bad. I, I shouldn't be calling things easy. And I know they're not easy for everybody. And... Uh, I got to be sensitive to that. So the next semester, I taught the same class, and I, I went to the class, and every topic I said, this is challenging, but you guys are up for it. I know this is hard, but we can do it. We're going to get through it. You know, putting a positive spin on it, but letting them know that this is going to be challenging, right? Because I want to send out the vibe that it's not easy for everybody, and I'm, I'm sensitive to that. And I'm, Anyway, I get my evaluation that semester, and uh, I got a, a student evaluation that said, Tony constantly says everything's hard. Well, if he thinks it's hard, imagine how I feel. This is awful. It's really hard for me. And, and so I just thought at that moment, I was like, I can't win here. So now when I talk about something being easy or hard, uh, I got to bite my tongue a little bit. And so I just want to tell you that this... Uh, it, it's easier than chapter two's journal entries, module two's journal entries. But in terms of difficulty, is it easy or hard? It's just right. I think you're going to say to yourself, wow, that was just the right level of difficulty. Not too easy, not too hard, just right. Okay, uh, sorry for that quick aside, but I just, I always catch myself when I say, oh, something's easy or something's going to be hard. I always think back to those evals. So I have seven journal entries to do. One, two three, uh, four, two, five, six, and seven. And these can all get dated. Um, they can either get dated the date they happen. So if I know the NSF check from W White, and I can see it there was May 7th. We can either date the thing May 7th or, or we're just fine to date this May 31st. And I'll just sort of have a May 31st, 2024 sort of standing date here. Um, so the NSF check W white. Now, here's why I said that I, I found these journal entries to be easier than most. They all involve the same account. And in fact, I can block this out. Let's see if this blocks out. Oh, it didn't block out. Fill. Can I fill? Dot, dot, dot. No. Cut, copy, paste. Okay, you're gonna watch this. I'm gonna I'm gonna just overwrite this. Uh, okay. Okay, just hold on. This is this is not turning out exactly how I had planned, but here we go. I've blacked everything out. I can't see anything there. Uh, I and you expect me to do journal entries? Well, here's what we can do. We can say this these entries that I'm about to do. They all involve the same account. Can you guess what account is involved? And the answer is cash, right? We're doing bank reconciliation, so they all involve cash. So let's do journal entry one. I know that my cash has got to go down by 600. So I know for journal entry one, I'm going to credit cash 600. I don't know my debit, but I'm halfway there. Journal entry two, debit cash 4,300. 
journal entry three, credit cash 300. Journal entry four, credit cash 100. Journal entry five, cash is going down, so credit cash five bucks. Journal entry six, debit cash uh, $1. <laughs> And journal entry seven, debit cash, $18. So without even seeing the accounts, I'm halfway done the journal entries, right? Which is why I thought these, these entries were easier than normal. So let me erase that because I do now need to see the writing. Get rid of this failed box. And uh, let's start with the NSF check W white. So the NSF check W white, uh, remember what's happened, this customer of ours, W. White, has written a check that has bounced, it has gone bad, and we, uh, I always think like role play here. Okay, so I, I get news from the bank that W. White has bounced the check. The first thing I'm doing is I'm picking up my phone, I'm calling W. White, and I'm saying, W. White, your check bounced. You owe me money. And I'm reinstating their account receivable. I'm saying this person owes me money. Well, when a client owes you money on a bill, we debit accounts receivable. Now, realistically, this would have a couple extra journal entries because we would charge him fees for having done this. So the bank's going to charge him fees. The bank's going to charge us fees. And we're going to pass those fees right back to him for, for bouncing the check. So it's a very expensive thing to uh, have an, pass an NSF check. Okay. The bank collection, $4,300. Uh, and this notes that there's principal of 4,000 and interest of 300. So, uh, let's deal with the interest first. This is interest revenue, right? It's money coming in, uh, related to interest. It is interest revenue. Now the 4,000, the principal amount, they said this was a note. So the credit is to notes receivable or to note receivable, uh, of $4,000. So we collected a note debit, cash, credit, the note, because we got the money. EFT utilities, $300. This is a cost being paid. This is a utilities bill being paid. Debit, utilities, expense, $300. Credit, cash, $300. Uh, EFT telephone, okay, credit, cash, 100 Debit, well, this is another cost. Telephone, expense, 100 bucks. Number five, a bank fee. Bank fee is another cost. It's another expense. Bank fee expense, five bucks. Uh, interest on the account, that's interest revenue. So we are crediting the revenue, and that certainly makes sense with our rules of journal entries. And last but not least, the bookkeeper's error. Let's read this again. The correct amount of check number 80, uh, payment of an account payable is 468. Okay, so the, the key there is given, a payment of an account payable. So back when we said credit cash 486, the debit that went with it was debit AP 486, right? It's a payment of an account payable. So that's what we did. And what we should have done was credit cash 468 and debit AP 468. And so to fix the error, we debit cash 18, we credit AP, because that's the other piece of it, 18. So let's credit our accounts payable, 18 bucks. So we, we screwed up cash, but we screwed up AP at the same time. So when we fix cash, we're going to fix AP at the same time. Okay, let me zoom out. So all of our journal entries can be on the page. And again, I would I'd probably want to see dates beside all of these. So May 31st, May... 31st, May 31st, May 31st, May 31st, May 31st. And it wouldn't be wrong, in fact, it probably is more right to actually go back and figure out the date, like the day the guy passed the bad check, May uh, 13th, uh, or no, May, the NSF check, May 7th. It, it wouldn't be wrong to date that May 7th. Okay, you've made it to the end of this series on... Uh, bank reconciliations. I do hope this has been helpful for you. And as always, if I've been helpful to you, 
I hope you can be helpful to me. Giving a nice thumbs up sends the right signals through to YouTube saying these are good videos and uh, I, I hope that uh, I hope that they've helped you. Okay, <laughs> that's all for this video. See you next time.